Okay. All right. Peter, come on board. Mind your step. <laughs> okay, so you're stepping aboard the, uh, the new Hudson Power Cap, 48 foot long. As you step on board, the first thing you notice is stability. The boat doesn't move. That's the wonderful thing about catamarans. You're on wide, safe boarding platforms. I'm standing on the engines here behind a soundproof, watertight bulkhead. They're 370 horsepower Yanmar V8s, the new Common Rail 8LVs, producing uh, very, very smooth power, giving this boat a top speed of 23 knots, a high speed cruise at 18 to 19 knots. Uh, <clears throat> let's walk around the front of the boat. See here you got a sturdy stainless rails, adequate uh, side decks, plenty of walking room with um, a nice raised bulwark as well for that added uh, uh, protection and um, keep the water out. Excuse me. <coughs> So the front of the boat, we have two lovely uh, bow seats, very big, very deep bow lockers, perfect for big fenders, uh, a lot of water toys, and indeed some of our European customers have requested that these have been turned into crew quarters, they're that big. <coughs> Here we have uh, obviously a lovely bow setting area. Um, and cleverly below the bow seats is actually uh, some more windows to let light into the master cabin that we'll see later on that spans the whole foredeck. Uh, ventilation into the master cabin and another two hatches ventilating the, uh, the salon. I'm standing on the uh, uh, anchor locker which has got a Lumar V4 windlass in there. Uh, very easy to attach the bridle to your bow cleats um, and then either side again more storage. Okay, we have wash down pumps for the deck wash, salt water and fresh water. The locker. Oh, I haven't put the rubber seat on. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, maybe you can avoid the lid but <laughs> Oh, the bow locker? Yeah. Alright. Uh, which one's cleaner? This one. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> they go quite a long way back too. Water fill and vents as well. Nicely. Okay, you're standing on the concealed uh, deck fills here for the. For the fillers, for the diesel. Nicely concealed. We have um, two, uh, we have 750 litres per side, and this particular boat has got an additional 500 litres a side, so total capacity 2,500. Um, gives the boat a range of uh, almost 1,500 miles. Side entry uh, doors, both sides, um, <clears throat> which are lovely, obviously, when you're tied up to a seawall or whatever. <clears throat> and then um, let me uh, open a, the engine hatch for you before we go upstairs. So, let me show you. so inside the engine room here, 
as I said, uh, we're behind a watertight uh, soundproof bulkhead, um, soundproof in. Uh, everything is to CE Class A, which means we've got fire suppression, which is automated uh, outside of the engine room. Um, here is the Yanmar 8LV V8, uh, 375 horsepower. It has <coughs> uh, an underwater exhaust system, so uh, which adds to the the quiet and smoothness of the uh, of, of the of the engine running. Um, when at idle, it has a bypass, so you have above water. There's no back pressure, but once you're going, uh, you've got this big six-inch uh, exhaust pipe pushing the exhaust underwater. In here, we have a 12 kVA uh, Fisher Panda genset and a five kilowatt inverter. So uh, that means you can draw five kilowatts of 220 volt AC power off your house battery bank. Um, <clears throat> shore power switches and all our boats. We put lights in the uh, uh, in the engine rooms, AC sockets, so that you can actually, if you do need to do any work in here, you're um, fully equipped to do so. All your sh breakers for your shore power as well. Additional, um, an additional manual override for your engines as well. <clears throat> Fuel polishing system. All standard, um, and the genset is in its own sound shell inside the sound insulated engine bay. So you actually, when the thing's running, you 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 can't hear it inside the boat. Right. <clears throat> Here in the aft cockpit, got a beautiful outside dining area. Um, all the all the seats have uh, lockers inside. Fully lined. Um, a lot of storage can easily be converted into live live tanks or um, uh, refrigerated refrigerated lockers. Swim ladder at the back. We have options for either davits or hydraulic uh, platforms at the back uh, back of the boat for for swimming. The boat we have a boat arriving in five weeks' time has an extending lowering platform to create a beautiful beach. Also, that means we can put a 4.2 meter rib on the back of the boat. <clears throat> uh, of course, here into the salon, it really feels like you're uh, stepping into a, a big apartment. The galley, well appointed, um, excuse the clutter, with a <clears throat> induction hob, little range hood. We have two 77 litre um, fridge refrigeration and, and freezer drawers. And on this side, we have a Fisher and Paykel dishwasher drawer. Uh, we can easily add more refrigeration drawers, but we have a further fridge under the helm chair and then an ice maker up on the flybridge. <clears throat> Plenty of uh, storage inside the, inside the galley. Drawers and cupboards, trash bin in here. Storage, storage, and then under the galley, we have a lot more storage for food, grog, whatever you need. The salon is well thought out, beautifully appointed uh, for socialising, feeling comfortable, you don't feel crowded. The Bill Dixon's done a wonderful job of uh, <coughs> positioning everything so you have lovely uh, eyesight lines out through the, through the windows, plenty of light coming in. Uh, really adding to the the feeling of, uh, uh, of space that's already here. Uh, this um, contemporary styling in this boat is is very much uh, European. Uh, <clears throat> the boat we have arriving in five weeks' time, we've actually 
moved a little bit away from the European styling to a more of a traditional look with uh, walnut, solid walnut cappings. We've actually taken out this lower helm, added another four refrigeration drawers uh, and a bar. Probably more suited to the, uh, the Australian way of living. Next, uh, we're going to step through to what is perhaps the crown jewel of this boat, and that's uh, on deck living master, master cabin. Where in a 48 foot boat, we're, um, we have a full size walk around king size bed. So here we are in the, uh, the master cabin, it's a, a wonderful space, as I say, uh, <clears throat> walk around king size bed, sprung mattress, a TV, stereo, of course all the cabins in the salon have independent ha air handlers so you have your own uh, reverse cycling air conditioning, air conditioning um, either heating or cooling for the summer. Lights just flooding in here from, from all directions. Uh, again, keeping that feeling of uh, space and luxury alive. On the port side, we have a little office area uh, with a walk in wardrobe. And then on the starboard side, we have the ensuite uh, with an ample shower um, and head. Also on the port side, we have a washer dryer, nicely tucked away, seven kilograms, um, take care of everything you need. Of course the boat is equipped with grey water, black water tanks, um, <clears throat> complying with uh, modern standards. <coughs> and. Uh, Okay, this is your guest VIP cabin, nicely appointed with a queen size bed, a uh, little makeup area, ensuite uh, bathroom, head, shower, privacy door. Again, very nicely appointed. Light, cleverly uh, stealing light overhead from the um, salon as well um, into some little overhead windows that are actually not exterior windows but um, uh, positioned in the salon. Nice size closet. Making sure your guests are very, very comfortable. Oh, I'd lift, yep, the bottom. <laughs> the um, <clears throat> port side cabin, uh, the last cabin, the third cabin in the boat, is a twin. Uh, ideal for the for the for another couple, or, or of course for the for the children. Um, it's well appointed again. Um, again with its own ensuite bathroom with a uh, with head ventilated well lit the uh, the boat has uh, water heaters uh, also auxiliary water heating from the engine um, can be fitted with the water maker uh, optional
Okay, uh, sitting at the interior home, you, you've got a position, uh, uh, you're nicely positioned, almost at the center of the boat with good visibility of the bows. Um, here you've got three helm chairs. Uh, so in rough weather, cold weather, or just when you want to be inside, it's, um, it's a lovely place to helm the boat from. You've got all your controls here, Rain Marine, Autopilot, Bow Thruster, everything's going on here. Your, your black water tanks, your fuel tanks, water tanks, gene set control, um, and of course, entertainment. I need to find the remote now for the TV and show you the TV cover. Scallop? Yep, yeah. There we go. Boat. We've got a surround sound system and hopefully, if I can work it, there we go. Of course, pop up TV. Where right now we've got uh, music playing through the entertainment system. Just come down a bit. Oh, it's going all the way over. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, upstairs to the flybridge. Nice accessible uh, stairway. Then your handholds. See a compliant watertight door on the on your upstairs hatch. And then this vast amount of space up here. Perfect for those summer days, summer evenings, entertaining. A day bed with a movable backrest where you can uh, happily keep the helmsman entertained. Um, up here we have uh, its, own, its own entertainment system. Uh, the, this particular model has a canvas bimini that uh, can be lowered or, or uh, raised into different configurations. We have also as options a uh, uh, hard top bimini or a uh, totally enclosed flybridge uh, which is actually built from carbon to, to keep the weight out of the top of the boat uh, which has full glass screen center helm position and is uh, fully air conditioned making it a, another living space, like a lounge space upstairs on your flybridge. <clears throat> uh, ah, just another storage locker. And here we have, uh, we've just put some canvas in there, but another, the, the head unit for the uh, stereo system. All the lockers are beautifully lined, beautifully finished off. All the seat lockers, um, seats have lockers underneath. Here we have a small uh, ice maker. Um, sink. Cool box or trash box, whatever you want to accentuate it. It can be whatever you want. And a uh, teriyaki plate. The impressive uh, upstairs uh, dining table here. You can sit 12 guests around it. Easily folds away for uh, keeping it small as a coffee table or extends out like so when you've got a lot of people to um, feed and drink. The version uh, you've got coming from Australia? The version we have from coming uh, the Australian model, we've actually lifted the seat backs, make it a bit more comfortable. Um, the, <coughs> the, f the f cushions are sculpted. The, the owner has spent a lot of money on, on fabrics and finishes. Um, as I say, fully enclosed with clears all around here. It has a, an electric opening sunroof that is perhaps 12 foot wide. And uh, of course it's all electric and it can be positioned uh, at any position. And it's tight um, all the way through. Built from carbon fiber, keep the weight down. Full glass screen, wipers. It's got two uh, big, comfortable Bessonosi helm chairs with joystick control, two 19-inch Simrad glass screens, 
That's an incredibly well appointed um, fly bridge, uh, trimmed out with walnut leather, and um, as I say, uh, 30,000 BTU of air conditioning up there too. Uh, this guy intends to cruise the Kimberleys and all the Northern Territories. He wants to do it in comfort. And you were saying you could build a version which has got a minimum or maximum of 4.5 metre off the water by hinging some of the... Oh, yeah, we can. We can, we can limit the air draft uh, by the Targa uh, top here or radar arch. Uh, we can easily hinge that so it can be folded down. Uh, reducing your air draft, uh, I think it is down to about four and a half metres so you can clear those low bridges for inland waterways. Of course that's only on the open top version if you if you opt for the hard top or the enclosed fly bridge then you're up to uh, I think it's about six and a half metres air draft. H&H &H 48.